for a 20 year term life insurance policy mm-hmm. and I was denied. And I was 33 years old and I had this company that I had given all my health records and data to, and they, they had gotten all the records from my doctors and they plugged it all into their algorithm. And it said, you know, like essentially bad bet. And, and when I read that denial letter, I immediately thought they don't think I'm going to live for 20 years. Right. If they did, they would gladly take my money. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so that was huge. And the reasons why, I mean, I, of course, I don't know the, the full reasons why, because they don't really tell you that. But at that time, I had grown, uh, I continued to gain weight. So I weighed 360 pounds. Mm-hmm. But not only that, I was on medication for high blood pressure. I had high cholesterol that was unmedicated. I had been diagnosed with sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. I had eczema on my fingers. I had psoriasis behind my neck and I would get migraine headaches almost weekly Mm -hmm. that I couldn't stop. And I was medicated for migraine headaches and I I couldn't get them to stop. And uh, the only thing I could do is lay in a dark room and try to get myself to go to sleep and hope that when I woke up, I would no longer have a headache. I, I think that and whatever else, whatever other algorithms they wanted to use, if it was like, you know, waist circumference of my weight, I had a 54 inch waist, whether it was BMI, I think my BMI was 44 or 45, you know, something like that. So they, they plugged all of this in and, um, you know, I realized that I was not healthy at all. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode on the Eat Real to Heal podcast. I am your host, Nicolette Riche, and on today's episode, I'm really excited to welcome Anthony Mazziello. Now, Anthony is a remarkable guest. He has an incredible story to share, and you're going to want to dive into this podcast from beginning to end because, you know, Anthony is taking the world by storm. So in this conversation today, we're going to sit down with Anthony and he's going to share with you how he went from being in the healthcare field for over 25 years, working for the NIH, um, doing groundbreaking research in the Human Genome Project. And despite all the knowledge that he had there, it was interesting that with all the research and development going on, the part that is remarkable is not knowing about food as medicine. And this is just another example of how we have leaders in the field and then they end up getting sick and obese and suffering from all the inflammatory metabolic diseases that are really plaguing our nation. But Anthony changed his life around and that's when his health took a nosedive and he said, wait, enough is enough. Suffering from obesity, hypertension, and so many other health issues, he realized that he had to make changes in his life. And of course, you know, on the Eat Real to Heal show, it's about eating real food. So of course, you're going to discover how he found, discovered, and researched um, the power of whole foods, plant-based nutrition. Once again, whole foods, plant based nutrition is the winner in being able to reverse a whole host of chronic diseases the same way that it can do for you. And that's what we teach here at Eat Real to Heal. So let's dive into the show. You're going to learn about how Anthony lost 160 pounds and doing it in the healthiest way possible and how since he did it that way, the weight has stayed off. But not only that, his chronic diseases melted away as well. And that is what is most important. It's not about the weight. It's about how healthy he is and how he feels and having loads of energy, which you're going to learn about on today's show. So you're also going to learn about how Anthony went, you know, as the former CEO of plant-based telehealth, how he went on to spearhead so many more efforts, um, you know, looking at accessible medical services, which really focus on disease prevention and reversal. So he took this win that he had to research on his own and experience and transformed it into something that is now helping thousands and thousands of people around the world. Um, And doing that as part of Love Life, this amazing network of wellness hubs. So let's dive into the show. I'm really excited for you to um, hear Anthony's story. And of course, you know what to do. If this episode inspired you, motivated you, 
um, you know, really just made you rethink how you're living your life and what you're eating, then give the gift of health to somebody else by sharing this episode with a loved one, with a colleague at work and just saying, hey man, listen, I know this isn't easy, whatever you're going through, these chronic health conditions that you're going through. And you don't need to take it from me, but just listen to this episode. Listen to somebody who has done the work, got the results, lost the weight, healed their chronic diseases, and is thriving as a result. This can be you. So do me a favor. Just listen to this podcast. That's all you need to do and send it to them. Leave it in their hands and you've planted a little seed. That's what we do here at Eat Real to Heal. We plant seeds and then we stand back and we wait to see which seeds take and what grows from that and what's been amazing is over the 18 years of having eat real to heal our company and richer health consulting we've helped transform thousands and thousands of lives helping people get off their medications get off disability return back to work return back to being incredible parents lovers friends because they have the energy to do so because they're no longer riddled with their chronic disease so please share this episode and i'll see you at the end of the show hello everybody and welcome to the eat real to heal podcast i am your host nicolette riche and i'm so excited to have anthony massiello on our show from love life telehealth and we're going to get into that whole story in a minute but welcome to the show anthony thank you thrilled to be here thank you for having me on and i'm really looking forward to excited about our conversation yes i am as well now 